Hey guys, it's Emily, and today on Heartbreak, I am going to be showing you how I'm going to do my makeup for one of my dances called Love Shack. That is why I have this on. And yes, my hair looks really awful right now. That's because I'm about to get it all fixed up and stuff, and I have this so that you can actually see. If you see me looking over here, where I'm looking right now, it's because I have a mirror there. And yes, I'm... So I have everything in front of me, and I'm just going to start off with a simple lip balm, EOS. I have to read it sometimes because it's say backwards, so just going to put this on my lip. My lips are already, they have uh, Vaseline on them, but it's off now. I just put the Vaseline on so that it will create a nice barrier for the lip balm and now I'm just going to pat it so it's not so wet make sure when you do that you don't take everything off and just saying I'm not professional so don't credit for me for anything I say okay so I'm doing Love Shack which we're doing 80s style if you couldn't already tell and Love Shack's an old song and we're doing jazz by the way so, I'm going to do most of the makeup that was in the 80s, 90s, stuff like that. Mostly in the 80s, 70s. But anyways, I looked up photos, and the girls have um, makeup to their eyebrows, which kind of looks funny. Just saying, I may not be perfect at this, because first of all, I'm 13, I'm still learning. Second of all, I, um... When I take off my glasses, it's harder for me to do my eyes than it is for someone without glasses. So yes, and my eye may go cross-eyed, just don't mind that. I, my eyes are naturally like that. Okay, so let's get started. So I think I'm going to start with my eyeshadow. Because if I put my lipstick on and I'm doing my eyeshadow, I may get it on my wrist. Because that's happened before. And I'm not putting my mascara on because it's going to be difficult. So, I have this really good brush for, it's for the crease, but I use it for all over. My aunt gave it to me. And the one, it, this is called Roses Essentials All About Roses Eyeshadow. It's from Essentials. But this is my favorite because it has lighter colors with darker colors, so different skin tones, different yeah, and I love it because it has the really light ones, which is really good for my tone of skin. So, let's get started. Okay, so I have no makeup on, and I put coconut oil on my face, took it off with a wet towel, and then dried it, and waited for like two hours. And so, yeah, it's nice and clean. So, first of all, I'm going to start out with... This color right here, it's pink, it's skin color, what they call it, you know, it's basically what Crayola calls skin color, I don't know what it's called, it's like peach, there we go. I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to do it on my other lid too. And I thought I would just change up the video to see what we can do. Okay, so now my lids are done. You may be asking, why Why in the world would you do this? Well, because when I put the makeup on, it kind of just makes it look ten times better. And then I'm going to take this super pale, pale color right there. And it's the same color as it is on my camera. And I'm just going to put those in the crease. I just kind of dab it because... I don't really know mu oh I don't really know much about it. It just kind of makes my eyes look more better. <laughs> more better than it makes no sense, but okay. And I put some under my eye, but not too much because I don't want to over exaggerate it because I do that all the time. Okay. So right now I'm just gonna take a look at what I look like. Okay, so I basically have the simples. Now I'm going to take 
this color right here and I am going to use that right in the middle of my line in my line right in the middle of my eye la I la no, right in the middle of I forget what it's called Eyelid, there we go. Okay, so I'm putting it on and I'm doing this to my eyebrow because I have to. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other eye because you know, kind of makes sense. It's kind of like doing a smoky eye, but not really, you know? Okay, we're going to take a quick check again. Okay, now, you may be saying, oh, it kind of looks like someone just drew on your face. Yeah, I'm going to blend that out with my brush. Oh. Just blend it in the middle. Okay, now, one more thing. In the 80s, they usually had really highlighted right here. And I have a highlighter, it just doesn't work. So, I'm just going to use this shimmery powder again. Because this stuff's like super shimmery. Sorry, I'm singing. <coughs> if you hear any noise, my family's still home. I thought I would just change up videos instead of having another piercing video. Because, you know, I do those videos because I have a piercing now. And because a lot of people don't do videos on um, belly button piercings. And the most year that they did was like 2015. Okay. Okay, so you may have noticed there was like a slight change in the video. That's because I wanted to go darker with it because you could barely even see it. So I'm going to show you what shade I actually ended up using. I ended up using the shade, let me show it, the shade beside the one I was using, and I think it looks much better that way. So now we are going to move on to the eyelashes. So, again, I'm not very good at putting on mascara, so I'm going to try to do my bottom lashes, but it's going to be really hard for me. Okay. And while you're at it, you can subscribe and like. People do that all the time. But really, I just do this for fun because, you know, it's really fun actually filming it. I don't think I'm going to do my bottom lashes. I may decide to do them later. Or maybe off camera, you know. So, yes, that's basically what it looks like. Not, I'm not done, but if I were you, I would do your eyebrows if you have really light eyebrows like me. But I really don't want to do them. Okay, the reason why we put the eye primer, not the eye primer, the like lip, the ESO and the Vaseline is because we're using red lipstick and this is going to take an hour and stuff like that, so it's going to dry and I don't want that to happen, so... I'm using this color that I really like. It's called Pure Carnal. Sorry if I'm saying that right and what you see. But it is really a good lipstick.
See, it's kind of red, you know. The only reason why I'm using this color is because I was going to use a brighter red, but I'm wearing a white outfit after this, and I'm going to have the same lipstick but not the same makeup. Because, you know, it's ballet that I'm doing next. Okay, make sure there's nothing on your brush because <laughs> when I was doing it darker, there was something on my brush and it made it look really terrible. Okay, so I'm just taking this opaque pink. I naturally have, like, I naturally have rosy cheeks, which you probably can't see on camera. But. I'm trying to do it really lightly. And yes, I'm using an eyeshadow brush. I don't want to overdo it. But if I do, it won't look that bad because it was 80s makeup, so... Meow. As I said in previous videos, my cat always makes an appearance. She's probably going to show up in the video a couple times. Because she likes to visit me sometimes. Okay, so I think that's enough. But basically, everything I had to show you. So, thank you guys for actually watching this. And I may upload a video on how I do my um, ballet, but it may be hard because I'm not doing it at home. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to show you the last look, and this room has better light quality, so I wanted to show you. Okay, so, this was quite a long slash short video. It was kind of in the middle. So, I really hope you like this, and that you may actually use it if you're going to like a Halloween party or something like that. Or if you're older and you like doing your makeup like this. I just wanted to do it for fun. So I remember this because I'm when I'm 15, I want to do competitive. I'm going to look back at myself and I'm going to be like, little Emily didn't know that much. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful day and bye.